How to research the competition. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Well, you know, we always have to research the competition. We have to know where they're at with their pricing and what kind of services that they offer. So, uh, one of the easiest ways to do that is uh, if you're a residential house cleaning service, then what you do is just call up, uh, you know, at least three or four of your competition, have them come to your home or your friend's home or your family's home, and give you a price on weekly and bi-weekly cleaning. All you're asking for is a general bi-weekly or weekly cleaning and see where they come in at for a price. Also, pay attention to how they interview you, what kind of questions they ask, things like that there, uh, so you can kind of pick up on you know, what their process is and how they're going about uh, interacting with the prospect. So, residential is pretty straightforward, pretty easy stuff to do. Uh, so give that a try when you're doing your research. Uh, also, you, you know, visit their websites, uh, see what kind of services they're listing. Uh, in some cases, some of your competition will list the, uh, what they're charging for the services that they're offering. offering. So make sure you go there and check it out. Um, well, now when we talk about commercial, uh, those of you that do commercial cleaning, that's a little different animal there. So in order to get somebody to uh, give you a pricing on that, they typically won't do that when you just call them up on the phone. Uh, they're always going to say that they got to see the location, which is understandable. You know, they got to see the location to see what they're dealing with. Sure, they can ask you all kinds of questions as far as square footage, frequency, this, that, and the other, and maybe give you a range. Hopefully they will, but in most cases they won't do that. They will want to see the location. So here's what you can do. You can, uh, depending on how strong a relationship you have with your clients, uh, you can go ahead and ask that ask one of your clients to let them know that you're going to be uh, having the competition and to come in and do walkthroughs and give you pricing on servicing their location. Now I've done this multiple times, so don't be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't want to do that, and that's crazy. I've done it multiple times. The thing is that you got to have to have to have a strong relationship with your client. You know, we provided such good service. My, I had a handful of clients that had no problems with me doing that. You know, and it was a great way to find out what the market bared and what my competition was doing. And in fact, many of those clients would often have people that would walk in, cleaning companies that would walk in and want to give them a proposal, and they'd say, sure. Well, they weren't looking to replace me. They were just gathering information for me. So they would get a bid and, uh, and a proposal, and they would just leave it for me uh, when I come in to clean that night. Or they would uh, actually call me and uh, say, hey, Steve, come on over, let's, let's talk a little bit. I got a proposal for you. So that's how you can do that. Again, you want to go to their websites and see what kind of services they offer. Again, you know, they might list the, the, uh, you know, what they're charging uh, per square foot for maybe some of the project work or specialty work. But generally for a reoccurring service, you're not going to see any pricing listed. Um, so that's where you got to get a little creative. And like I say, I've used this strategy many times and it works. Um, just contact one of your one of your clients and see if you can put that together. So hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, it's a great way to find out uh, how much your competition is charging and what services they offer. So uh, until next time, we'll see you.